Hi there my friends and uh, welcome to an impromptu video that's uh, kind of come to mind given what the postman brought today and I've got home from work and this lovely big brown cardboard box has uh, turned up and it's full of, uh, well there's um, unfortunately no bubble wrap. I really like bubble wrap. Pop, 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 pop. But uh, instead we've got, um, so this, oh, oh it sticks to your fingers polystyrene stuff but we're not really interested in that are we? We couldn't give a toss about the packaging. No, no. Jenny is padding the video out now. I haven't actually opened it myself yet. Just um, slipped the lid on the box. Um, but here we are. It's uh, Backman 31165 NRM. This is the 1008, the Lancashire and Yorkshire liveried uh, 1008 uh, 242 tank locomotive. Uh, the real one of these is in the National Railway Museum. I think it's... Uh, now I could be wrong on this story so hear me out uh, but um, I believe that the original that's in the museum it, it's preserved because it's the first locomotive that was actually built at Horwich Locomotive Works um, but the story that I've been told, and it could be a different locomotive, but I think it's this one, is that one of my father's friends, when they were working as an apprentice way, way back at Horwich Locomotive Works, their first job was actually to cosmetically restore this locomotive. And the chimney on the real one is actually the wooden pattern that they would have used to make the cast iron chimneys. Um, but because uh, the entire class of locomotives were being withdrawn, uh, there was no need to make any more. It was discovered uh, that the actual chimney on the real locomotive was completely rotten, needed replacing, um, so they actually used the wooden pattern painted up rather than cast a new chimney. But uh, tissue paper. Only weirdos keep rubbish like that. It doesn't add to the value. Uh, here we are, we've got the new style uh, Backman packaging that uh, slides out from the, the outer. Uh, I do actually quite like these, uh, the, the new packaging. It's a lot easier to get at the locomotive without any damage being caused. So we'll just uh, put that down there for now and we're going to slide out the, the plastic inner. Ooh, it's very tight. By the way, at this, this point, it's probably worth me saying I'm a complete tip because it is raining outside and it's very windy. So, uh, if I look like a tip, tough, get over it, I work for a living and I get windswept between walking from the car to uh, the front door. Here we have uh, the locomotive. This is a lovely livery. This is the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway lined black livery. Um, I'm a bit of a sucker for pre-grouping. Uh, liveries and um, up, up until now I, I've bought quite a few, uh, particularly the ones that the National Railway Museum have released. Um, so we've had the Butler Henderson, we've had the Midland Compound and now um, I have this and they're selling out really quick. In fact by the time this video gets uploaded it may even be conceivable that there aren't any left to buy. Um, I actually had to pre-order this over a month ago um, and I paid for it um, in full up front, uh, which is something I don't normally do, but I kind of trust the, the Railway Museum not to take the money and run. Um, but, um, you know, normally I wouldn't pay for things up front, but for this I made an exception. So here we are, we're, we're lifting it out there, we've got it clear of all the packaging. What's interesting is, once upon a time, I say once upon a time, up until comparatively recently, Backman left you to, uh, I'll just put that down there, left you to fit some of the optional detail pieces yourself, uh, things like the uh, the brake rigging underneath. But I've noticed the last couple of locomotives that I've bought, it's been factory fitted, which is um, actually quite nice because it is awful to fit yourself. I, I do pity the poor Chinese factory worker who has to fit these things for a living, so spare a thought for them. Now we've got the um, unusual 242 uh, wheelbase on this. We've got the obviously the four coupled driving wheels in the middle and then we've got uh, two radial pony trucks. And it's interesting, It's uh, you can see that Backman have used uh, the same method of fixing as on the, I think it's the 56XX Great Western uh, 062 tank locomotive. And um, 
there's a few I'm sure there's, there'll be a few other locomotives that use this as well but that's the one that it immediately springs to mind that they're, they're spring loaded um, and I'm hoping I presume it's very difficult to see but I presume I could be wrong actually it may be that uh, pickup is only off these four wheels which could mean that this locomotive might not be the most reliable of runners but we'll find that out when uh, we get a chance to run it in the shed uh, but the livery very well applied quite fine lining uh, that's been uh, applied very very neatly it's ever so slight fuzziness at the edges where the white fades to red but in all honesty um, unless you're looking for it you're not going to notice the detail inside the cab is lovely uh, we've got the whole back head on the uh, the firebox there is all um, picked out with gold and the plain black and the inside we've got like a cream colour at the inside of the cab um, all together um, I've said this is actually a very very nice model some very finely applied detail the buffers aren't actually sprung um, but in all honesty I don't think it detracts at all and if it's something that saves a bit of money I'm all for it um, I'm loathe to see whether the smoke box opens by the look of it I don't think it does now some previous locomotives had had opening smoke boxes but again it's it's doing things for the sake of it not because it actually adds anything to the model and I'd much rather that uh, the manufacturers didn't bother with gimmicks like that and actually just kept the cost down for uh, people like us um, that's pretty much the most of what I can say about it, superb livery, really do like that, it'll take pride of place in my display cabinet. In the packaging we can see the only parts that we've got to fit ourselves are the three link couplings for the front and the back which would really only fit if you were um, just having the locomotive purely on display or, ha um, or were actually using the three link couplings as your method of coupling which you know, I don't. So I'm happy to leave those in the packaging and just run this as is. But that is a superb locomotive. Anyway, I'm Jenny Kirk. You take very good care of yourself now. Want to see you back next time? Tickle that like button because every time you tickle it, I don't know, um, somebody gets something free. Uh, I don't know, maybe a fairy dies. I don't know. Who cares? Tickle it. Find out. Let me know what happens. Also, don't forget to share this video. It's very important because... Uh, you know, if you share it, I won't have to send Baz around with his baseball bat selling his uh, dental insurance program. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel because subscribing to this channel is a really good thing to do. Again, Baz might be involved in this. And uh, you can look back through all of our previous videos and see all the really good stuff that we've been doing on layout building, uh, modelling techniques. Uh, but also watching trains go by on the layout in the shed, Bolton Trinity Road, and also uh, the developments um, on uh, Grove Street Yard, which is my little shunting layout. Anyway, you take very good care of yourself. I want to see you back next time. Bye for now.